Hey, I thought a fun way to wind my day down would be to record a quick video on some of the tips and tricks and aha moments I had around joints uh, this week. And I'll start that by explaining the fundamentals of a joints and then open a quick assembly and share some tips and tricks. So fundamentally, I think what everybody needs to understand is joints constrain all degrees of freedom and then you relax degrees of freedom. This is the opposite to how a mate would work in something like Inventor or other CAD products where you're slowly constraining the degrees of freedom with a joint, you're referencing one point on one component to a point on another component and locking those in and then using motion to relax those degrees of freedom. So we could allow it to revolve or we could allow it to slide or we could allow it to slide and revolve with a cylinder or you could uh, maybe do a planer that allows it to slide on that plane and revolve. We're slowly relaxing degrees of freedom, but by default, we're fully constraining uh, the motion between two components. I think that's a foundational thing that you need to understand uh, with a joint. Now, because of that, it also means it's really important to have a single reference point or a single datum on each component. And that's pretty easy for something like a primitive um, box like this or a primitive cylinder, but it becomes more complicated on, on many of the parts we see every day. Uh, and that's where I think some of our challenges lie and where I'm gonna try and share a few tips and tricks. Uh, the first thing though, is I'm gonna insert a vise uh, and explain this idea of uh, locking a component in. You see, when you drop a component in, even though you can move it around and, and it shows you a dimension, that's actually just placing it in relative space. It's like when you create a sketch and it's blue. It's, it's really unconstrained. I can drag it around. There's nothing that's locking it into space. It was just sitting there in a relative position, um, but not, uh, not really defined in that location. So what we're gonna do for this is use a joint uh, and what I like to do is just create a joint that references the origin of the component I brought in with the origin of my assembly uh, and that locked those things together. Now the vise doesn't move, but the jaw moves within the vise because that vise came in with that degree of freedom. Okay, so that's the first thing. How do you, how do you get this assembly and lock one of the things in? A joint's a good, a good thing to use there. Now I'm gonna bring my next component in and I think this is where some of our challenges or at least my challenges uh, were in the past. I started by explaining that a joint is, a, is referencing two points, one point on each component uh, to reference those in relationship to each other. Uh, but if we look at this, uh, both of these components actually, the points in space that I want to reference don't exist where the edge of this soft, the stop and the back of the vise and the top of the parallel, where they intersect, there's no point. And the same could be said uh, at the corner of this part where the datum is that needs to bump up against uh, that stop, which that stop's actually too short, so I've picked a bad example. Um, maybe I need to draw a smaller fillet, but I think you'll forgive me on that. Uh, the point is there's no point. I'm not trying to be funny, really. Um, and, and we want to attach them together. Now, you might say, well, there's an easy way to do it. You can just uh, join the center of the back edge there and the top edge of the parallel, and that would work. Um, and then maybe you just slide an offset and, and try and get it in the right spot. Um, but you're not actually going to um, get it exactly where you want to get it. So we're not going to go that route. Um, I'm then going to show you a couple tricks for how we find that point. Uh, so the first thing is we can try a joint and you'll see in the joint command, there's this option to say two intersecting edges. And that's actually going to work for our part. Uh, we can select two edges and we've now got an intersection point, a joint, a, a spot for the joint to attach uh, at the, the intersection of, of the two bottom edges. There's, there wasn't a point there and, and now we've created one. Unfortunately, that trick isn't going to work on the vise because the edges need to be on the same component. So I've, I've immediately uh, run into a wall here. 
in that I, I, I really want to be able to select uh, faces or edges from uh, different components. Uh, so uh, how are we going to solve that problem? Let's back out. And here's the, here's the next little trick. Under construction geometry, hiding away down at the bottom here, is some options for creating points. And one of those options is a point through three planes. You can just go ahead and um, pin that to your toolbar because I think you'll use it a lot. I know I will. And this gives you the option to create an intersection point to then reference. So I can use this point through three planes. I'm asked, uh, this is a good by the way, I'm asked to capture my position or revert it. I'm not going to capture it. Uh, that would create a timeline uh, point to remember where I free dragged my component. I really don't care about that for, for this video. So I'll just say revert. And that was my soft jaw jumping back. So I'm in my um, point through three planes command. We're going to go ahead and select the fixed back jaw, the top of my parallel, and the side of my stop. And you can now see a point appear. And now we have a reference point that we'll be able to use um, to create a joint too. So let's try that joint command again. This time, we'll use the intersection of these two edges. That creates the, the reference point on my component that's our datum. And then we'll just come down here and pick the point we just created. And we've gone ahead and snapped uh, that part exactly where it needs to go up against the stop. As a last little trick, sometimes you do need kind of what would have worked as a mate. Uh, and in this case, uh, we can simply do something like a joint between these two faces. But the joint that we're going to use instead of rigid is planar. That means it can be anywhere along that face and that'll suck the jaw up against it. So I hope I, I worked in a couple little tricks there on how you create um, reference points uh, for your joint, both within the joint command or with uh, this neat little extra command to create points. Some learnings I had this week. Hopefully there's some learnings for you too. Cheers.